I arrived in the Dominican Republic in September of 97. I had no idea of the magnitude of the ball that I was going to confront. People disappear. People are never found. Hatred of Haitians has long been a part of Dominican society. I always try to be very sure that what I'm doing is right, because that's my only protection. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, padre. He is very much an all-or-nothing person. He was a, a rebel. He was always getting into trouble. He was very difficult. The growing and harvesting of Dominican sugarcane is done by laborers from Haiti. It's quasi-slavery. Men who work for the companies go across the border into Haiti. Here, Haitians are made to wait until they can be shipped to the plantations. You see all the wiring, which is to prevent them from escaping at night. The company has a lot of blood on their hands. They're beautiful children with no hope for a better life. I am determined to change this system. It started with a strike. I went to every village and I said, nobody works. The church says that workers have a right to strike. And then came the death threat. They brought in the military to basically throw me out. He's very much a human person with the pain of being very lonely in what he's doing. I think I would be a fraud if I took even one step back. These are my people, and whatever happens to them, I would like it to happen to me. I'm sure most American families would be very embarrassed to know at what price they put sugar in their coffee every morning.